subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video this is a very simple concept i don't want to waste a lot of time there is be beautiful beautiful concepts are there so this is a, a mature uh, level of discussion and now let's get into folding or some people call it as reflection some people is called as transforge or some people is called as time reversal time reversal so that is a folding of a constant time signal that is a time reversal so that means if this is your normal graph so you need to take a mirror image on y axis you need to take a mirror image on this y axis this will give you like is is part ka yahan pe ho jayega aur is part ka mirror image aisa ho jayega got this idea so you'll get a graph like this so if this is your x of t this will be x of minus t if this is your x of t this will be x of minus t dekho kaisa hota hai ye jo pink wala portion hai iska mirror image yahan pe hoga so iske coordinate accordingly minus 1 pe hoga aur ye jo ye jo ye jo value hai this value will get into minus 3 simple so that is what i have drawn here look here so this is your mirror image or folding of something called so x of t ka x of minus t is nothing but look looks like this so three things is very important my dear friend one is your time reversal time scaling and time shifting time shifting let me show you this is your time shifting what is the time shifting this is your x of t ka graph x of t ka graph graph bas itna hai aise ho ke step type ka hua hai this much only graph is this much only now if you want to do shifting that is x of t minus 2 that means instead of writing x of t if i want to draw x of t minus 2 that means so do so listen to this carefully if you want to do this thing you always choose the first point of this graph what is the first point this is the first point this is the first point and this first points so you are doing time shifting so what is the subsequent time for this point sir zero sir ha x of t was there you want to shift by amount 2 it's not minus it is you want to do by minus 2 that means this value will going to be get added with 2 and this 0 plus 2 0 plus 2 will give you 2 similarly other other value will get arranged accordingly i understand this point so this coordinate this coordinate will be in 2 this coordinate 1 plus 2 will be in 3 and this coordinate will be 2 plus 2 that is in 4 simple so that is so yahan pe aap logo ka kya ho gaya delay ho gaya and this is your x plus 2 that means this value x of x of t minus of minus 2 that means this only so this is called advance jaldi aa gaya usse pehle jaldi aa gaya what does this mean actually look here suppose you have a grinder which which grinds fruit like if you are giving input as apple it is giving you apple juice now the way it is giving you apple is like is like a graph like at zeroth value it is giving in this much amount then after that it is increases to this value then after that it increases to this value then at then then after that it is it it it, it stops here okay this is this is how this grinder function that is f of t is actually responding you understand it now what i'm going to do i'm if i'm applying x of t minus 2 that means this graph will be shifted to like this like it will shifted by amount 2 that means if my apple juice i'm getting at 0th second after delaying means i'll get that apple juice after 2 second delay that is why we used to call it as delay delay it get delayed to agar advance matlab hame apple juice aur jaldi mil jayega so if you do x t plus 2 you'll get your apple juice in advance in advance jaldi milega so always remember t minus 2 means it is delaying t plus 2 means t minus of minus 2 means it is advance it is advance okay so must have a clarity on the shifting thing i'm not getting into the actual detail of this analysis this is very basic thing and you all know this points now yahan pe note points very important look here carefully this is your note points 
and this note point is going to play very vital role in a all kind of analysis now padhne ka kaam yahan pe hai now if you take impulse function if you take unit step function if you take ram function what will be their time scale how they going to respond if you do the time scaling to impulse function how they going to respond if you do time shifting to any impulse function how they going to respond if you do time reverse reversal to your impulse function now that is what we are going to see now look here carefully for time scaling this is very important this is very important del of 80 del of 80 always gives this value remember this value very important for gate and engineering service exam 1 by a 1 by a del of t clear this point clear this point this is how time scale time scaling value is uh, responded by impulse function so del of 80 is nothing but 1 by a del of t time shifting is c at t equals to 0 you are getting you are getting del of t this is this was your del of t del of t minus a means after at a it shifted to a this impulse signal is shifted to a it's a simple thing time reversal always remember time reversal del of t is equals to del of minus t because at t equals to 0 the function is actually looks like this na it is actually looks like an even function we'll get into clarity we'll get the clarity while we'll draw so this function is actually microscopic level it looks like this no so del of t and del of minus t you can't do the reversal you can't do the folding of this curve so that is why del of t is always equals to del of minus t please remember this three point for unit step function u of 80 u of 80 u of 80 is nothing but u of t वट हाँ खा लेता है ये स्केलिंग फैक्टर को खा लेता है डजेंट मैटर वेदर ए इज लेस देन वन और ग्रेटर देन वन इट इज ऑलवेज ए टी यू बट ए इन टू यू टी अगर आप करोगे दैट दैट इज दैट इज ए इन टू यू टी लाइक उतने अमाउंट पे अगर यू टी आपका इतना था ना वन पे था ना ए इन टू यू टी मतलब आप अगर टेन इंटू यू टी कर रहे हो दिस इज योर यू टी ओके टेन इंटू यू टी कर रहे हो मतलब ये टेन अमाउंट को इंक्रीज कर जाएगा इसका फैक्टर इसका जो एम्पलीट्यूड फैक्टर सो देर विल बी नो लाइक इतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है ये बट यहाँ पे ये जो फैक्टर है योर शिफ्टिंग फैक्टर टाइम शिफ्टिंग फॉर यूनिट स्टेप फंक्शन लुक योर टी यू एफ टी माइनस ए इफ यू डू यू एफ टी माइनस ए दैट मीन्स लुक योर लुक योर If your U of t was looks like this initially, used to be look like this initially, but U of t minus a will looks like this. That means after a it will start giving you value. That means here your definition was U of t, which is equals to uh, one. Okay, U of t which is equals to one at t is greater than equals to zero. But here, what will happen here? What will happen? यहाँ पे आपका क्या हो जाएगा u of t equals to वन if your t is greater than equals to a you got it u of t means t is greater than जीरो पे वन आ रहा था u of t माइनस ए कर दिया तो t is greater than equal to वन a के बाद वो वन आएगा इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग ओके सो आई वॉन्ट यूर मतलब लाइक हंड्रेड परसेंट लाइक क्लैरिटी ऑन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक इसमें समझाने वाली कोई है नहीं उतना वाला समझने वाले कॉन्सेप्ट एंड यू ऑफ माइनस टी इज लाइक आप बता सकते हो इसको इसमें कोई मतलब है नहीं यू ऑफ टी दिस इज योर यू ऑफ टी एंड यू ऑफ माइनस टी विल बी द रिवर्सल पार्ट दिस इज योर यू ऑफ माइनस टी योर यू ऑफ माइनस टी लुक्स लाइक दिस सो यू ऑफ माइनस टी यू कैन ड्रॉ इट U of minus t like looks like this. So clear. This point is clear. So it's a very simple thing. It's a very simple thing, and I, I want you. You should understand it ab absolutely. Like there is nothing rocket science here. Because it's a it's a like a mature level that I'm discussing with you. Now let's last part is RAM function. Ra RAM function is nothing but your time scaling. Me, if you do R of a t, this value will give you. This value will give you a into a into r of t. Clear? R of a t will give you a into r of t. Please remember this is this is the only portion which is important. And r of t minus a you can draw. This is your r of t. That is your t into u t. That is your r of t. No. 
yes now if you want to draw r of t minus a it will be shifted to a value correct so there is there is no like, like itna kuch important nahi r of t minus a or r of minus t you can draw r of minus t will be like this सो so, इस सारे एनालिसिस में सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट एनालिसिस क्या है सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट एनालिसिस ये है ओके सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट एनालिसिस दिस वाला है ये वाला एंड ये वाला एंड एंड ये वाला दिस थ्री थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस वन दिस वन एंड दिस वन ओके आई वॉन्ट यू शुड रिवाइज दिस स्लाइड वंस मोर वंस वी आर डन विद दिस लेक्चर ओके